Welcome, PML fans. I'm your host, Joe Zamora here, and with me, I have Coach I have Coach Reb of the Filipino Ferrothorn. You're what it do, YouTube. It's your boy, Eli the Rebel, aka Reb. Um, back at it again. I'm glad to be on this channel again because we're gonna discuss about what I drafted uh, last last weekend and uh, just break down every single pick. Cause honestly, that that draft went by crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> it's live for y'all to see as well on the YouTube channel of PML. Yeah, we we have the live draft stream on uh not only on YouTube but also please check out uh, Joe's Twitch as well. The video playback is there as well. Mm -hmm. Um, so go check so go check it out. Whatever platform y'all prefer to choose, please go check it out so you can you know follow along and understand what was happening uh that saturday oh yeah because we certainly made it fast paced and everyone was grabbing things that like you won't believe oh yeah there were things off the board left right and center and uh there was there was it was really hard to keep track after a after a while <laughs> well with all that being said did you get what you wanted for your first pick i did i did so um that's the one thing i do remember is my round one uh, Cause I went third overall, so I watched, I watched two other first round picks go, and then I was like, you know what, um, Darman and Tan Galler um, is gonna fall to me at third overall. So it's, I haven't tried it since like pre home, and I'm I'm willing to try it again. Um, you kind of mentioned it like a little bit, like you know, dur on draft day, talking about how like it does this one dimension, but. You know, it does that dimension really, really well. Oh yeah. But in this format, in this format where, with, you know, with maxing and everything, you can nullify, you nullify the item, and you can become a, you know, basically Darm G becomes this big gorilla, and then that's how you can click, you know, other buttons other than, you know, the icicle crash max ice or whatever. And oh, I yeah. think, and I think that's what I'm, and I think I wanted to build my team around that. Honestly, you're, I be personally believe tier one is something that you should pick, something fun and exciting to use, and just build around that from there. Absolutely. And so you... I plan to use, I plan to max Darmana 10 as much as possible. Oh yeah, man, and you certainly played it well too. You got plenty of things that can counter mons that Darmana 10 will be weak to. You also got the webs on Vicavolt because that 80 base speed ain't nothing to sneeze at either. Um, yeah, I really wanted to get my bolt beam core going. Um, so for those that don't know what bolt beam is, um, it's electric moves and ice moves. Um, it's a core essentially. Um, whatever resists uh, electric type attacks, um, ice uh, covers that. Um, so that's why it's called the bolt beam core. And having Vikavolt, like you said, the webs, uh, the 145 special attack. Um, with the 45 speed, you know, allows it allows me to give slow and strong volt switches to Darmana Tan Galler, and I think that bolt beam core dynamic um, is gonna is gonna work really really well together. I hope. Oh yeah, you certainly got that, and then you also have Gothitel to lock things in. Um, Gothitel round two. Um, with with the. Uh, with the shadow tag ability at tier two, it, it was really good value. Um, I couldn't let that go off the board. I couldn't let that go off the board scot free. Um, Gothitel, you know, one of the things about it being so good as a shadow tagger, it it provides, you know, Goth has a lot of coverage, a lot of setup options, mm -hmm. um, you know, utility as well. Um, one of my favorite. I've even passed down a Gothitelle set to a friend of mine before. You trick the scarf as they set up the hazards, and then you just cosmic power to plus six, and then and then clean up with stored power. That's a lot of fun. Um, but you know, just, that's just. The, and I think with you know with my other tier two, I my logic with my other tier two was okay. Um, the only things that can escape, you know shadow tag mons or ghost types so i figured why not get a fast ghost type ghost type off the board as well in uh, gengar and although it's not you know levitate anymore 
as its ability. It's now Curse Body. Still, still very good. Not as good as Levitate, but you know what? Curse Body is still viable. Um, it still has its perks. But I think Gengar with its speed tier, its stab Shadow Ball, stab, stab Sludge Wave, and you know, being able to nasty plot, it 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 can it's definitely a it can be a really good breaker or a really good cleaner. Uh, oh yeah, for sure. Definitely, if you could predict a, a choice item, because then you can curse body their move and set up just like that. Exactly, exactly. You can run, you can run sub nasty plot. You can run scarf. You can run specs. Um, other coverage it gets is like what dazzling gleam, T ball, energy ball, mm -hmm. um, icy wind. You know whatever. You know Gengar. Whatever Gengar. You know Gengar has the ability to. You know it provides an offensive presence no matter what. Um, it, just with its speed, its speed tier and high special attack alone. You can, you can, there's going to be weeks where you can even be modest, which I think I can't wait for those weeks where I can be modest Gengar. <laughs> those are going to be the most fun. Certainly, man. And you've been talking about your team here a little bit. How do you feel it meshes overall? Um, Overall, I say, like, in terms of synergy-wise, I talked about the Bolt Beam Core. Um, I talked about my, uh, you know, Gothitelle and, you know, getting Gengar off the board so that way, you know, that's one less thing Gothitelle has to worry about. Mm -hmm. um, the one thing that I'm not, you know, 100% confident on, my Dragon Fairy Steel Core is uh, is a Gudra, uh, a Clefairy, and a Steelix. Yeah. Now, it's interesting because, obviously, Clefairy is non is non evolved um but it can hold a violet which can be spadef bulky um it's you know it still gets magic guard just like a uh, bigger clefable but it doesn't get unaware like clefable so you're gonna see magic guard pretty much every single time it, it does come to a game um obviously the utility is there um the momentum is there now in this generation via teleport mm -hmm. um so Clefairy can come to games. Um, it's not the greatest fairy in the it's not the greatest fairy in the world, but I think for tier five, I think I think it can hold its weight for sure. Um, and then Gudra and Steelix, I really like that. I really like the Dragon and Steel to complement Clefairy because you know Steelix has obviously the 200 a uh, uh, physical defense um, to take on to take on things. Um, it's it, the access to to rocks as well, because um, that was the thing. Um, that was the thing. I was looking at other waters, water grounds, and some of them didn't have rocks. But you know, Steelix provides me a rocker. You know, when it does come, it provides me a rocker along with Clef with Clefairy as well. And then obviously with Gudra, Gudra is known for being a spadef, a uh, bulky dragon, um, especially when holding the assault vest. And it's a really good Assault Vest user, not only because of the Spadef stab, but also because it has wonderful coverage outside of, of Dragon Stab. It has access to fire moves, uh, poison moves, uh, water moves, electric moves, even grass moves. Um, Sap Sipper giving me a grass immunity. Um, Gooey is really good to slow the game down as well, so that way Darmanitan can clean up, or Gengar can clean up. So. I think the synergy is like I, I wouldn't say my my team synergy is is the strongest I've ever drafted before, but but it's there, it's there. I, I think this is something that I can work with. This is something that I I'm definitely gonna have fun building uh, in the very near future. Definitely, man. And um, during the draft, did you get sniped at all? Um, I, I was obviously with the Clefairy pick. You know, I was looking for big Clefable, uh, to fall to me at tier two. Um, didn't get that. Um, <laughs> it's funny because uh, I was looking. I, I it was funny because I was not home mm -hmm. during when everyone was uh doing their tier fours. Um, and I wanted to snag a Quagsire at tier five. Um, that was taken away from me, but. You know what? I managed to, you know, fill a, a speed gap, right? I needed something a little faster uh, for than Gengar, um, so that way, you know, Gengar doesn't have to be, you know, the 
the, the fast uh, offensive breaker every single week. Um, and I ended up getting tier 4 Barrascuta, mm -hmm. actually. Um, you Of course you want to put Barrascuta in the rain, of course, but I think at tier 4, outside of rain, uh, band, the banded set is still going to hit hard, regardless. Um, banded Aqua Jet for priority, if things get out of hand. Um, banded Flip Turn for momentum as well. The coverage is actually really good too. Ice Fang Crunch, Psychic Fang CC. So, um, and I believe, I think even Poison Jab as well. Um, I gotta double check that, but uh, Barrascuta is going to be a, outside of Raid. I know, but it, it's tier 4, I think. I think I think Barrascuta, you know, not only was good value at tier 4, but it also gave me, you know, something a little faster than Gengar, for sure. Yeah. So I, it, it kind of worked out that I never got Quagsire, because <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to figure out that Barrascuta was tier 4. Well, judging from your team, what's your favorite Pokemon you drafted? Um, to be honest with you, um, I really wanted my favorite mod out of all out of everyone on this team has to be Vikavol. I mean, the guy I've drafted this thing in two other leagues currently. Like I mentioned before, man, the the slow, strong Volt Switch. The, mm -hmm. Those are the three main things that I want Vikavolt to do, and it does that. Base 45 speed, base 145 special attack. I'm gonna get slow moment, slow momentum that way. And if you do have a happen to have a ground type, you know I can just I can just energy ball on the switch, um, things like that. Um, if I wanted to be a bulky Vikavolt, I could run, I can run Roost, things like that. I've even ran, uh, one time I ran, like, Specs Mud Shot for a certain Colossal, so that was kind of cool. Um, so yeah, Vikavolt, Vikavolt can hold its own for sure. Um, it's, that's why it's my favorite mod, because I've drafted it so many times, because it does the job that it needs me to do every single time I ask, I bring it to, to a draft game. Certainly, man. There's there's Pokemon in Draft League that you would never think you'd care for, and then they end up being one of your top favorites. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, a perfect example of that. Um, I have I have a I have a Flareon. You mm -hmm. know, mo you know, I've drafted Flareon before, and normally, like I looked at it, you know, it was it was pretty all right. Um, you know, when I because. Prior to my first time drafting it, I see it in RAN battles. It runs the the toxic orb, you know, gut set. It's it, it's it's a decent, you know, break physical breaker, I guess, with with flare blitz and facade, sure. But I was really I really drafted it the second time because because of the flash fire. Now, Darmanitan Galar doesn't appreciate fire moves. Like if something was let's say like if Cinderace you know wants to you know spam Pyro Ball on my team, mm -hmm. um, Flareon you know has access to Flash Fire, which is a fire immunity and also boosting uh, my fire moves on top of that. So I really drafted Flareon just to cover uh, Darmanitan Galar if I'm ever struggling to switch into fire types that would threaten out uh, Darm G, and you know. Obviously, with every single evolution that you can possibly draft, I'm checking off the you know the wish support box, the heal bell box as well. Um, anytime you need you know wish and cleric support, dra draft draft an evolution, and Flareon does check that, check those boxes off along with being a, not only a fire resist but a fire immunity, mm -hmm. which is really really good for my team. Do you plan on changing any of the bonds on your team? Uh, in this current moment, I don't think so. I really like. I ended up really liking what I have right now. Um, yes, I got sniped here and there, but I think, I think I'm gonna have. I think I'm really going to enjoy building the the first two three weeks. For sure. Okay. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm not a hundred percent sure if the team will stay the same after two three weeks from now, but you know that. I think the first two, three weeks will give me a good idea of whether this is a team that I can, this is a team that I'm comfortable with or whether things need to be dropped or added and things like that. There's still a lot of good stuff uh, left over, 
uh, after the draft. There's still a lot of good mons free, so yeah. I'm still gonna be eyeing. I'm still gonna be eyeing the transaction window for sure. That actually leads me to my next question: Are you surprised by Pokemon that weren't picked? Um, off the top of my head, off the top of my head, you know, there's so many. Uh, I, this is a really good question. I don't know. I haven't really, I haven't really gone over, you know, because after the draft ended, I just, you know, I just, I literally just closed the, I literally just closed the stream and then just, you know, proceeded to do other things at home. So yeah. I haven't really, I haven't really gotten around to looking at, you know, the post transaction window yet. But uh, I think, I think overall, I think the draft went pretty well. Um, there wasn't anything too obvious. Um, once once we were uh once we were concluding the draft but uh but you know only time will only time will tell which is why it's very important for me to you know keep up keep looking at the transaction window see if anything if anything gets dropped and maybe that's something i, I could pick up from the from left over who knows I cer i've certainly made a bunch of changes already so <laughs> Really? Yeah. Okay. I think okay. Out of the five we're allowed to do, I've already made four. I was like, you know what? I could have done better here, 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 and I made those changes. Really? Yeah. Really? Wow. Wow. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Me. Four I, out of five. Me, because I suck at drafting. <laughs> <laughs> I always look at the mons I like, and then I see like competitive mons that are better than the mons I like that fit the same role. I'm like, all right, I should probably do that. Instead. Right, 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 right. I think, I think we get caught up in you know drafting who we like so much to the point where things don't work together. Mm -hmm. So I understand why you had to make the the changes that you made because while those are the mods that you like personally, they may not work well within each other within the said within the said team to get the kind of you know wins that you want. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like there are mon there are probably mods out there that are better fit for that role, like you said. So if I know it sucks that you have to use almost all your your transaction moves for that, but business is business. You gotta oh, yeah. do what you gotta do. You know what I mean? I mean, I didn't. No, no, no hard feelings for those guys that get dropped because they're still your favorites at the end of the day. We're trying to win here. We're trying to win here. Oh yeah, I certainly didn't draft Lycanroc Dusk and Charizard and it hurts, but you know, hopefully I actually win, so it shows yeah. that I didn't need them. <laughs> Good on you, Joe. Good on you. Um, But to finish off here, uh, have you looked at any other teams yet? Um, uh, actually, I have... I have not. Um, there was. I'm not gonna lie. There were some people complaining about uh, me sniping uh, from them. So uh, I'm excited to play the. You know, the people that were complaining about. You know, me getting. You know, Gudra and and Flareon sniping those away from people. And I'm also excited to play against the people that. You know, don't like that. Don't like uh, playing against Gothitelle. Those are gonna be really fun matches for sure. Definitely, man. I can't wait to start building with this team, man. It's it's gonna be the format is just I haven't touched this format since pre home, so it's going to be fun to you know experiment again and consider and consider all the rules and everything and you know to craft masterpieces to craft masterpieces. <laughs> you certainly know the people in your division, and uh, I know you said you haven't even looked over what they uh, picked. But who do you think is going to give you your hardest battle this season based on their team? Um, I I got to go with I got to go with the homie Dusty, man. I I the the times that I was paying attention to other people's draft, I would just look at whatever Dusty picks. I'm like, that's a really odd pick. Oh, there's you're something lucky. Go, there's something going division. on with him over there. I don't like it. He's plotting something evil. I don't like it. <laughs> lucky because Dusty's not in your division. Uh, you got Ooh. you got Christopher, Ryan, Skills, and Eric, Calvin, uh, Matt, and Ryan. Okay, yeah. Um, like I mentioned in the first interview, like you know, I don't, I I only know you as a as a player. I don't know these other players that are in this league. 
So it's it's going to be interesting to see the the skill level, the skill gap, and the range of how you know everyone is playing in my division. But yeah, right. it's certainly yeah. going to be competitive. But no Dusty in my division. We take those. We take those. <laughs> Woo. I just kept seeing whatever that man was drafting. I'm like, that's going to be annoying. That's going to be annoying. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, he does got a team. Corviknight, Chansey, Alakazam, Rhyperior, Hitmon, Leak, Quagsire, Raichu, Cantonian, Cofagrigus, oh, no. Magmortar, and oh, Dragalgy. No. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, Dusty can stay over there. Dusty can stay over there. He's my problem. Corviknight, Chansey. <laughs> hell out of here. <laughs> for night chancy bro oh man alrighty man well anything you want to say to the fans before we go yeah man uh pml has been your boy eli the rebel um i'm not 100 percent sure if you'll see the draft analysis because i will be posting the i'm currently um working on the 50 sub special your boy hit 50 subs we take those um so that that i'm focusing on that video uh right now but uh until then uh it's been your boy eli the rebel i'll see you guys week one i will see you guys week one it's going to be an awesome awesome season in the pml for sure and thanks again joe for inviting me to this league i appreciate it my g oh yeah no problem brother glad to have you here well, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.